Welcome to beautiful Naples, Florida here. I want to talk today a little bit about golf ball position for long irons. This is a four iron. Scratchgolfacademy.com is my home website. Uh, if you subscribe to this channel, we'll get you a lot more free content coming up. I hope this helps you about the ball position for long irons. I've got a four iron here, and that's about as long an iron as we're seeing these days. Back when I was a lad, one and two irons were sort of the badge of honor. Jack Nicklaus and Tom Watson could always hit those things, so we tried to hit them. Of course, they didn't have hybrids. Hybrids are a lot easier to hit. They sim effectively function like long irons, though, so you can apply that to this. And I would say this is five iron, four iron, or any hybrid. So what is the correct ball position for a long iron? Well, you might be able to guess it. There isn't absolutely one. We're not all the same. We don't all release the club in the same point. We're not all the same age and flexibility and skill level, etc. But I can give you a few basic ideas that I think will help you figure this out for yourself. Again, I have a four iron here. Now I want to show you a little close up and it'll show you what's required of impact. And it's a little bit different than what's required of impact on a short iron. So let's have a look. So this is a four iron, as I mentioned, and the sweet spot similarly is about the same as it is in a nine iron or a pitching wedge. The th difference is because the club has so much less loft, that leans up against the ball beautifully without that much forward shaft lean. Now, as I'll talk to you in a minute, you've got to have some forward shaft lean to really hit the ball with power, but you don't need as much as you would for a short iron that would be where the sweet spot is tilted much more away from the ball. That would maybe be the loft of a nine iron or something like that. So slight, slight downward hit required on this sort of a lie, but not dramatically. Let's see how that plays out in our swing. So as you see there, there isn't as much need for the forward tilt of the club, but remember this, there's more than just one reason that the shaft is always a little bit forward with the best players in the world. And I'll add, as the ball position goes forward, even though the body's slightly more behind the ball, the shaft is at least, let's say, in line with the lead arm, not in between the arms at impact. Why is that important? I've shown you that for contact, especially short irons, but you cannot apply pressure to the golf ball properly. And that's what you're trying to do in a golf shot. You're trying to squash the ball on the club face and make it come off. You cannot do that effectively with your hands back here. If you doubt that, you see if you'll ever see a Major League Baseball player hitting a home run like this. It's always like this, always in line with the lead arm, Tennis, if you attach the lead arm same way, you cannot apply pressure effectively with your hands back. So even with a long arm, we've got to do that. Now, again, if your skill level is a little bit higher, you can play the ball a little bit more forward because you're trying to get decent height with these clubs. These, always don't, these don't always go really far in the air, but you cannot play it so far forward that you're catching, ball, catching balls off the bottom of the face and starting to catch it with your hands behind the ball. If you do that, the sign would be you start to tick the ground a few inches behind the ball, drop kick a few shots, thin or top a few shots. That means your ball is too far forward. So I would recommend, check it out. That would be about middle. Use the club to dangle down and see that. Start out a little bit forward of middle, maybe the width of a golf ball forward of middle, and kind of go from there and see how you do. Again, if you're drop kicking it a little bit, move it back just slightly. And as always, these things can evolve. As you improve your golf swing, and as you learn how to transfer weight and retain some lag and release in the proper manner, uh, hey, you can move the ball position a little bit and you'll be a much more effective player. So remember, ball position a little forward of center ideally. We want to help the ball get up in the air, but we don't want to hit it with the hands back. Uh, for more information, to learn about this release, go to scratchgolfacademy.com. I hope you'll hit the like button here, that's helpful. And I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Lots more of this content coming along free your way. Look forward to staying in touch.